Welcome back, everybody. November the 22nd, Monday morning briefing, episode number 55. And you're actually watching this video on Monday, hopefully. Uh, we actually got it posted on Monday. We were able to do that because we finally got an upgrade in our internet service here in downtown Moulton. Um, when we first got here, the only thing that was really available was a, uh, a DSL type uh, internet, which is fairly slow. I mean, it's faster than dial up, but it was fairly slow. And it was taking, it could take up to six, eight hours to upload a video to YouTube, which was kind of frustrating, but we got used to doing it that way. We found out a couple weeks ago that they actually brought fiber internet into town for the school and that it was actually available in downtown. So we made a few phone calls and found out that it was available downtown and it was actually pretty close to the shop already. And so they were able to come in here and run uh, fiber to the shop and uh, inside. So we got new internet service, which actually gives us, instead of, I think we were at 18 megabits uh, download speed now we're one gig and it's very very fast and so I've actually posted a, a video over the weekend that loaded very quickly so we're able to create a video and post it the same day if we need to and so that's gonna make Monday morning briefings a lot better mm -hmm. just because they hopefully will come out on Mondays as long as I shoot them first thing in the morning we can go ahead and get those loaded and by mid morning you can be watching the Monday morning briefing um, I know a lot of people have gotten used to watching them on Tuesdays. We still may do some on Tuesdays, just depending on how the weeks go. Um, you know, every week, sometimes Mondays are crazy for me when I first get in here. But this week is sale week. So I wanted to get in here first thing this morning, shoot this video, uh, kind of go over with you some last few little details on the sale, remind you about that, and uh, and then get back at it. And that way we could go ahead and get this week started off right. Because it's going to be a short week for most of us. Some of y'all may be off all week long. Uh, my kids are out of school all week long for Thanksgiving, so we've got quite a few things going on this week uh, that we'll be running around doing. But we worked all weekend long. I, I worked all weekend cutting parts and getting all the material packs filled for the sale. All those products, like I said, we'll, we did a little update over the weekend, but all those products will go live on the, on the website uh, at midnight on Thursday, so Friday morning basically at midnight. And the sale will run from Friday at, or Thursday at midnight through Monday at midnight. So if you're looking for any kind of deals or anything like that, um, we'll have some pretty good deals on there. One of the things that we'll do is just like last year, all of our digital products, like our digital download uh, pattern packs and stuff, those will all be 50% off. So we'll put all those on half price. And if there's some of those that you've been wanting but you just hadn't hadn't gotten a chance to grab those, you can certainly grab those for 50% off. We'll also have our course on uh, introduction to floral leather design on the, in the academy. That will also be half off. So if you're interested in getting that course, then you can certainly take take the opportunity to do it then. And you can go through that course as many times as you want. You have access to it for forever pretty much. Um, and so you can go through it at your own pace uh, whenever you want to, as many times as you want to. And we are working on the tooling course. I was hoping that I could have it out before Thanksgiving and go ahead and have it launch, but we're still ironing out some of the details of that. I'm gonna try to maybe have it done by the end of the year. If not, it'll probably come out in January, but that course is being built currently and uh, it's going well. I think it's gonna be good. I'm probably trying to put too much in that course, but we'll, we'll just see. I want it to be pretty expansive so that when you if you go through that you'll you'll will cover most of the things when it comes to actually tooling those patterns in uh, into leather and stuff so I think it's gonna be good we'll just see how that goes um, another thing that we'll do in the sale is that there will be on all of our uh, material packs we're gonna do a pretty much all of them a bunch of them we're gonna do 15% off and so they'll be already marked on the website. You won't need a coupon code or anything like that. They'll, if they're on sale, they'll be marked that way. And so if you wanna get some of the wristlet purse uh, material packs or some of the uh, pancake knife sheath material packs or bifold wallets or money clip wallets, those will be available at a little bit of a discount. Um, also, as far as the belt material packs, as you know, we usually don't have them in stock because they sell out so quickly. We have a lot of these available. I think I cut over 140 of these somewhere around there and in the premiums and then i've got maybe almost 50 i think it's 46 or 47 blemishes i may cut a few more i've still got some leather left but i've got to save some leather also for our projects for christmas so i've got to cut those out this week make sure i get what i need and then whatever's left i may add to that so but there will not be any discount on the belt 
belt uh, material packs. Like we mentioned before, just because they're they're so close right now and with leather uh, has just gone up just a little bit, we, we've got to be careful on those. But anyway, we will have plenty of those in stock. So or we'll have some of the, we'll have a good amount of those in stock. I don't know how fast. Usually they sell out pretty quickly, but those will be on the website Thursday night at midnight as well. Um, and then as far as our printed packs, we're going to open back orders on the printed packs on all of them. We like right now, I think the website's showing that we're out of the wristlet printed pack, uh, companion pack, and it's the same as the digital one. So it's not, if, if you just want the digital one, that's fine with you. You can grab that one and get the same information. But if you'd prefer a printed pack, um, it is showing that we're out, but we're going to open back orders on those on Thursday and uh and that way anybody can get them because we've got them all on order they may all show up this morning or tomorrow they're usually pretty quick on those on those particular pattern packs and we've ordered more of the buckhorns and more of the gunsling uh pattern packs so we have a bunch now but i'm you know with the sale and stuff they may sell uh, a little quicker so we're going to go ahead and open back orders on those because we can get those refilled fairly easily so if you do order on back order we'll do our best to get them out to you by christmas um, but, uh, you know, with the shipping and, and all the post, postal things going on during Christmas time and us and it running a little bit slower, um, we can't make any guarantees, but we'll dang sure try. As soon as they get here, we'll get them out and try to get them to you so they can be under the tree for Christmas, or you may just want them just to make one of those projects for somebody for Christmas. But on the printed packs, we're going to do those half off as well, but I'm going to just, it'll be the difference of the printing. So I'll have to figure out the math on each one of those, but basically it'll, they'll be roughly half price, just like the digital ones, but they'll be more expensive than digital ones to compensate for the printing. Um, but other than that, they'll, like I said, they'll be, they'll be on sale as well. There will be a few Easter eggs also on the website, and we'll be putting some stuff on the cut bench page as well. So keep an eye on that page. I'll have some just oddball stuff that I may cut uh, this week, and I've got a few ideas, just a few little onesies and twosies that we'll throw on there. And uh, if they help you out, great. If not, uh, you know, pass on them. They may not ever be on there again. It just kind of depends. But we'll try to cut some some more of that stuff and just some oddball things and put those on the website. Uh, on the cut bench page. Um, we kind of cleared it off yesterday. So if you go on there, there's not very much on there. That's because I cleared off everything that was sold out. And then I'll be kind of figuring out today and tomorrow kind of what else we can add to the to the cut bench page just to give a little bit more variety. But we're excited about the sale, excited to get it going. We've got, uh, this is, I'm gonna show you just this. I showed you on the, uh, on the update video over the weekend, but this is some of that pig skin, like I said, for the wristlet purses. I don't know. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna try to make one or two of these up this week just to kind of see how they how they work. I don't think they're gonna turn inside out very easily, uh, just because of the firmness of it. But if you if you want to skive the edge of this thing, it sure might. I may go ahead and try to turn one just to see how it does. But it's really neat stuff. Like I said, it is pig skin. Um, it's got a distressed look to it. You can always tell if it. If you're looking at something and want to know if it's pig skin or not, usually if you see the little dots on the on the flesh side, sometimes you can see them on the grain side. But if you see a bunch of little pinholes, a bunch of dots in the back, that is usually a telltale sign that it is pig skin. And it's it's really nice stuff. I'm not sure how these things are going to price out just yet because I've got to check my price on what I paid for this. But we've got it in the tan and the red here. And uh, you know, I don't know how well they're gonna do. I don't know if anybody's interested in, that, in those types of leathers or that color, but I think they'd make a flashy kind of different little wristlet. And then we also have, like we talked about, the uh, alligator print. And this stuff, like I said, it's just kind of fun, just a little different, something to make a little wristlet that's got a little exotic look to it, but it's not super expensive. And then of course I've got the elephant print as well, which this one is my favorite. I know it comes in some other colors, but I really like this turquoise black. And, um, and it just, it feels like elephant. It looks like elephant. It's really nice stuff and it's not super expensive. So we've got a bunch of all of those cut. We've got some other wristlets cut and some other leathers as well. So there'll be a lot of those packs on the website over the weekend. As far as what I worked on last week, I kind of got over the weekend, I got the video done. I started it last week, but we're remaking the pancake knife sheath video. We talked about that before and it is done. It is actually already loaded to YouTube thanks to our new super high fast 
quality HD internet that we have now. It loaded up really, really quickly. And so it's actually on YouTube, but you can't see it yet. I've got it unlisted, but we will uh, post that on Thursday. It's too close to the sale. I didn't want to post it today and then have the pattern pack available as well. And uh, I'd rather wait till Thursday and that way that, that new pattern pack will be on sale at half price as well. So that'll be a, a good deal for all you guys. So if you're wanting another pattern pack for the pancake knife sheath, for these new material packs that we're selling, then um, that's the one to get uh, during the weekend, especially because it's gonna be half price. And it comes with 15 different tooling patterns, uh, floral patterns in there, uh, plus the cut patterns. So if you wanna cut these out yourself or whatever, then you're more than welcome to do that. We also sell the material pack though, where we just die cut and click out the front and the back panel and it makes these super easy to put together. The new video is really not that different. I just wanted to make an updated version because that other one was one we made years ago when we first started doing YouTube. It was one of our early project videos and I just felt like it needed a, a, a new a new look and, and mainly just doing one in here in this shop. And But the, like I said, the pattern is a little bit different, but not much. Like I said, the video is already up on YouTube, but you can't see it yet. You will be able to see that Thursday night at midnight. We'll go ahead and post that on our YouTube channel. And so that'll be the project video for the week. And like I said, if you want to build some of those or get that pattern pack, it'll be available with the sale along with everything else that we've got going on. But one of the things that I'm I'm really enjoying about the, like I said, the new internet service, it's just, it was kind of cumbersome to try to post a video um, as often as I wanted to, just because we had to post it at night or, you know, start loading it at night, let it go all night long. Now I can kind of do uh, more of the quick tip videos, the shorter videos. They can also do more project videos and stuff like that and get them to you quicker. So hopefully that means a lot more videos coming in 2022. Uh, we didn't get a whole lot done on saddles last week just because we were cutting and getting everything ready for the sale. I like to do things like that when we're having a sale or something, some event going on. I prefer to get everything done as much as possible uh, uh, earlier than I need to, and that way I can have that week right as we're getting up to starting the sale or starting the event, whatever's going on, that we've got a little bit of breathing room there where if we need to make some adjustments or run, get some other supplies or do whatever, I'm not tied down trying to produce product. Whether you're trying to get ready to go to a show or you've got an event that you're setting up for or something like that, or you've got a big project that you're building for for somebody that, that like an oilfield company, you're building a bunch of different items for them, um, one big job, so to speak. Um, it, it's always helpful if you can, and it's hard, we all do this, but it's it's very helpful to try to backdate your, your completion date, and that way you've got some time there in case you run into a snag, in case you run into a problem where you've gotta have a couple days there to, um, you know, kind of make a change or, or change something up or go a different direction or whatever, you're not right bumping up against the timeline or the deadline. So that's what we're trying to do with this sale. I feel like we're pretty good. I think everything's pretty well cut. We've got to count a little bit of inventory and kind of hash out a plan for turning everything on. That's another step I'm going to have to have with the website as far as getting it all to uh, go live at midnight on Thursday. But we'll figure that out. Even if I have to stay here that night, it's not a big deal. Um, but anyway, we'll figure out how to get that going. Real quick, I wanted to visit a little bit in, the, in this Monday video about our my tool belt. I've had a lot of people, and I don't know that I've ever talked about it. If I have, forgive me, but if I haven't, uh, here we go. Th this is the actual original belt that I built whenever I went to work in my apprenticeship uh, with Jimmy Plant, and he, one of the first projects, he said, you need to build yourself a belt so you've got some tools easily accept accessible on you. Um, and so I think he was just kind of testing to see how I could, what I could do, you know, as far as building something kind of weird like this. And, uh, but this is actually the original one. At some point, I'll probably have to retire it or at least mend it. I've kind of, I'm about to lose the uh, slots here where my little strap goes through, but it's just got a one inch, it's, actually, I think it's three quarter inch strap um, to, to wear it around my waist. And then inside here, the two main things that I keep is a pair of side dikes and uh or side cutters whatever you want to call those and then a pair of needle nose pliers and i keep those in there because those are always handy these are handy for pulling tacks or cutting different things or whatever you need to do and then of course needle nose are always handy for all kinds of stuff and then we've got my exacto knife where i just use the injector blade in there and that sits right there that's that way it's always at hand if, whenever i need it i've got a little spot for a pencil of course we're going to have pencils all the time in the shop and then i've got an a spot for three awls in here so i've got this all here which has a, a very blunt end on it it's a very old awl my dad gave me years ago but it's a very blunt end it's not very pointy so it has certain applications that i use that for and then i have a traditional yellow handled spike awl 
and this one here is fairly pointy it's not sharp but i mean it's fairly pointy for using it as a fid usually and then i've got a little bitty scratch all and that has particular applications for it whether it's tightening down conchos or just you know making some marks on a pattern or scribing a line whatever you need to do that one sits there i also have my cs osborne sharp point blade that i use for cutting out 99 percent of what i cut out and uh, that knife sits right there so it's always at hand when i need it and then i've also got in the middle a cigarette lighter i do not smoke cigarettes that the lighter is not for smoking it's for burning down stitches i've actually had people in the shop just customers and stuff saying man you always carry your lighter in case you need to smoke and i'm like no that's not what that's for it's for burning stitches but or burning anything really nylon the ends of zippers when you trim them whatever but uh no we do not smoke in the shop it's fire hazard and uh, not to mention a lung hazard and then also we have uh, measuring tape, uh, which actually, you know, is very important. You're going to have to have a measuring tape. I prefer, when it comes to tapes, real quick, I like these little 12-foot tapes. The smaller, the better. The, not, not super, super small. In my pocket, I carry a little bitty 10-foot tape. That's just a little, I mean, it's tiny, but it'll work in a pinch when I'm somewhere or if I'm at a bench and I need to measure something. And so that stays in my pocket. But this one is a little bit bigger. It's got a clip on it, just like a normal tape measure. But these little tape measures sometimes are hard to find. Um, I don't know why, but sometimes when you go to the to the big box or like Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that, sometimes they, they have these, but they're like, they got all this rubber on them and they're real big and they're annoying. I don't like a big tape measure that's got a bunch of doodads on there. I need a nice slimline, small tape measure because I'm using it all day long. I don't need something that's got rubber and wheels and buttons and a level in it and, and a place to hold a pencil and a piece of gum. I don't need a Swiss Army knife of tape measure. I just need a tape measure. So these are the ones that I like. Uh, this is a work pro. I've seen them with, I think they say Bulldog. You'll see them usually at like an Ace Hardware, some kind of little small mom and pop hardware store. You can find these little, little smaller ones. But that's the ones I like to use. 10, 12 foot tape measure. Um, you don't need a framing tape measure on here. Uh, so, but that's my tool belt, like I said, or my work belt. And I wear this all the time. It's hard for me to come into the shop a lot of times and do any any kind of work, even if I'm in here just doing something real quick for the kids on their saddle or something and I'm gonna run back out to the house. I'll usually still put that on because it's very easy to grab my tools. I've got everything I need pretty much to, uh, to mend something or tie on latigos or cut leather or do whatever I need to do. So I don't know, and if you're in a really small shop where you're basically a step and a half away from everything in your shop, you probably don't need a tool belt. But um, I would say that you'd probably still find a, a benefit from it just because you're not hunting for your knife. If you're spending, you know, an hour a day overall looking for where the last place was you set your spike all or your knife or your lighter or whatever, you know how easy that stuff can get lost, especially in a saddle shop or a leather shop. And then it might be beneficial to make some version of a little, little pouch like that that you can wear that has those essential items on your person. And that way, no matter where you are in your shop or what you're doing, you can find it. I had a lot of guys work with me in the shop and none of them would wear a belt. They would always, you know, no, I'm not wearing a belt, I'm not wearing a belt. So it's just a personal preference. It's whatever you want. I got used to wearing one because that's how I learned. And so now it's part of my, a part of my, my office space, so to speak. It's part of what I do. And um, I've got to have it in order to, to do my job. It just makes things a lot more efficient. But that's it, guys. That's really all I got for you. It's sale week. Like I said, Thursday night at midnight through Monday at midnight, our Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale. Just be patient. It'll be here before you know it. If you haven't already, you might want to go to the website today and sign up for the Leathercraft newsletter. There'll be a newsletter coming out tomorrow that will have a little gift in there for our newsletter crew and a little few more details and stuff like that. So if you want to be a part of that, just go to our website at dgsaddlery.com and sign up for the Leathercraft newsletter. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next week in the Monday Morning Briefing.